What's up marketers and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's almost Halloween here so you can see I have my little decorations set up uh, you know, for spooky season. But today we're gonna be talking about something that a lot of people get confused about and it's navigating the difference between business manager and ads manager. There's a whole world of that interconnected business manager, ads manager, commerce manager. So today we're gonna to be going over it all. If you're a little bit confused about your personal page versus your business page, business manager, ads manager, what should be connected and how to set up business manager, stick to the end of the video because we're gonna be going over all of that today, as well as I'm gonna be answering questions that I've seen people um, ask about in the comments of our YouTube videos and things that they want answered about business manager, ads manager, and getting it all set up. I am gonna ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, and uh, put that little notification bell on so you know when we release videos. But we're really trying to reach a thousand subscribers and it'd really help out if you could help us get there. And we're gonna dive right into the video now. Okay, so we actually have a decent amount to cover in this video and I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible so that you're getting the most amount of value in the shortest amount of time. So let's first dive into like what is business manager? Business manager is basically like a house for your business on Facebook. So in a house, you can have different rooms, right? You have the kitchen, living room, bedroom. So think of each of these different rooms as different assets you can have inside of your Facebook business. So one room might be your Facebook pixel. One room might be your Instagram page. One room might be your Facebook page. Another room could be your Facebook ads manager. So your business manager is really a place where you manage all of your business. Everything is going to be connected to your business manager. And an ad, the ads manager is a branch of your business manager that manages just the advertising aspect. And your business manager manages all aspects of your business. I feel like that's like the most simple way to describe business manager versus ads manager. Now, if you have a business on Facebook, you've most likely been into ads manager or created an ads manager account without necessarily creating a business manager. They don't go hand in hand. You manually have to create your own business manager. But typically what you'll see is that if you have a business Facebook page, you can go over to your actual Facebook page on Facebook and if you wanted to ever run ads or promote a page, the place that you would probably go is, if you're starting out, is probably just to your Facebook page and you might choose to go in the top right corner over here and press ads, the ad button right over here, or you might scroll down here and press uh, create ads. Now, by pressing that, it would bring you to ads manager. Now, if you've never really seen this view before or you've never been to actually see your campaigns inside of ads manager, the place that you've probably been is ad center. Now this is the front end view of your ads and what you can promote um, with paid advertising. And it's just a very simplified version of ads manager. Now what you promote here would show up in ads manager, but if you've been running ads from this angle right here and going all over to the ad center, this may have been working for you, but my suggestion is that if you want to move up and sort of scale your business to new heights, you should always be running your ads from ads manager because this is a place where you're managing all ads. And although this is ad center, it's a much more simplified version. Okay, so now in order to get to business manager, which is a place where you're gonna manage all of your things related to your Facebook business, you're gonna to wanna to go to business.facebook.com and click enter. Now, if you see this view, this is actually business suite. Business suite is going to overtake business manager, but not all of the features and settings are inside of business suite right now. So if you, when you go to business.facebook.com and you come to this page right here to be able to get to the old business manager with all of the settings that you need, you're going to press the small little give feedback button down here and go switch to business manager. Okay. So if you chose that option and you switched it back to business manager, but for some reason you want to go back to business suite, you're maybe used to it. You like to manage all of your messages there. You can just go to your Facebook page and then choose business suite right here. And that's where you'll be able to access it. Also, I think it's really important to mention that you should only ever have 
one business manager per business. So let's say you sell shoes and you have a shoe company and then you also want to start up a clothing line that's completely separate, different names. You're going to want to create a new business manager to keep those two entities separate because all of your pixel information, like your data and your Facebook page is all going to be connected to that one business manager. And you wouldn't want to add another business into another business. You want to keep them separate because they're two separate entities. So whenever you're making a new business or you're starting some, a new project up, make sure you're using a new business manager, just like you would create a new Facebook business page. You wouldn't run it from the same business page, right? On Facebook. So create a new business manager. Now, once you're in your business manager, in order to access your ads manager, so in order to get to ads manager from your business manager, you're going to click the little hamburger in the top corner here and just navigate to ads manager. Now, videos from a couple years ago that showing you how to navigate through this are actually going to look a little bit different than what this might than this currently looks like in 2021. But something that should always stay the same is this green create button here. That's what we found just always been there. It's always been the same. So once you're in ads manager, you should confirm that you're there by this green button. And as well as you should be able to navigate to different parts of your campaigns, like your ad sets and your ads. So now going back to business manager, this is the screen that you're initially going to see. This is where you'll see all of your ad accounts that are linked to yours. Now, if you don't have it properly connected right now, don't worry. In a few minutes, we're actually going to be doing that and how to connect them all. But this is where you'd see all of your ad accounts. And in the top right corner, you should see the name of your business. Then under here is where you'll see all these different rooms, if you want to call it that, such as your ads manager, your audiences, ads reporting, ad account settings, events manager. And this is where you can navigate to different parts of uh, your business. Now, this is, again, a more of a simplified version and just an overview of everything. The place that you want to go to in order to add your ad account or connect your Facebook page, you're going to want to go to this business settings at the bottom here. Or another way to get there is at the little hamburger at the top here and press business settings. And you'll see that these little tabs here, you'll also see them right here. So now you're inside of your business manager settings. This is where we're going to be spending the majority of our time. So what I would suggest doing is pressing this little favorite, uh, this little bookmark thing over here, making sure that you have it named properly, uh, business settings, and then pressing done. That way, when you open a new tab, it's going to be at the top of your bar right here. I have lots of different ones, but you'll see it pop up right here, business settings, and I can bring it and drag it right over there. That way, when I click business settings, it'll bring me directly to this page if ever I need to access it. So inside of your business settings, if you go to the left-hand side here, you'll see all of these different rooms. Again, like there's so many different rooms in this house. You must have a big house uh, where you're managing your business because there's lots and lots of different rooms that you can go into. The people added as users into your business manager basically have the key to the front door of your house. They can walk right in and they can have access to all of these different things. Now, if you wanted to give access to just a specific part of your room, you know, if you had a, a, a door going to the outside, sort of like a motel, if you want to just give them the access to one room, you could choose which of these assets you wanted to give access to that person. Now, what we sometimes see is that we get into a business manager and it is not connected properly to either the business's ad account, um, to their Facebook page, or to any other of their assets they actually need to be managing their, their business. So in order to add a specific page, Facebook page, you're going to want to go over here and confirm if it's in this list of pages that you have access to. We have many, many pages here because we're an agency. So lots of other businesses are giving us access so we can view all of the things inside of their business manager. But if it's not, and if you don't see anything here, you're going to want to click add and just go add a page. And then you're going to copy the URL from your Facebook page right into here. And it would add it to your business manager. Now let's go down the list. Let's go to add accounts. Now, if you don't see your ad account here that you've been running ads from, you're going to want to press add 
add an ad account, and then you're going to need to find the ad account ID. You're going to want to get to your ad account and find that ad account ID. So we're going to press right over here. You can go to right over here. If you're going to be adding this new ad account into your business manager, you're going to want to make sure it's the right ad account. So if you go to the top corner here, choose the ad account from this list of drop downs and make sure you are choosing the right one. Now, the best way and the easiest way I find to find the ad account ID is by going to your URL, business.facebook.com slash ads manager. Then you go ACT, which means account. Now you're gonna copy this big number right there. You're gonna go back to your business settings and then add it to your ad account ID. And that will be adding that specific ad account into this one. Other things that you wanna be adding in here is your Instagram account and making sure that you're pressing this ad and then logging into your Instagram account. You will need your username and password to uh, add this one in here. So there's a few other things that you definitely need to do when you are creating your business manager for the first time, including how to set up the Facebook pixel and making sure that it's properly connected to your website, um, how to set up aggravated event measurement, how to verify your domain. These are all really, really important things that you need to be doing when you set up your business manager. And I will link them all in the description below, but that's not really what this video is about. But make sure you watch them and that they're set up properly because these are really going to impact your ability to run ads in Side of ads manager. Now, if you're as a sole proprietor, you're the only person running your Facebook ads at the moment or managing your business, you're going to want to make sure that you are here and that you have access to all of these different pages. So when we go in here and you choose your Facebook page, you can add people that will specifically have access to that asset. If you wanted to add people to your entire business manager and they would also get access to this, you can just go right over to people and then add them in right here. And then you would give that specific person access to your entire business manager so you wouldn't have to go through every single one of them. Now, if you're working with an agency or you're working with another business, a consulting firm, the best way to do this is not by adding people onto your business manager. You're gonna wanna add them in as partners. An, agen an agency would be an external entity that you want to give access to your business manager. So add them in as partners and you just do the same method over here. We're gonna give a partner access to your assets. So this is sort of the same method as adding in a different ad account, except for this is your business ID. And that can be found in your URL as well, but this one's gonna be called your business ID. So your business ID is like the name of your house or your address and your ad account ID would be the name of your specific room that you're going to be accessing. So that's how you can differentiate it. Now, um, I, we did have a question about would any changes made inside of your business manager be seen publicly or would anybody see it on your Facebook page or would it be posted? No, anything that happens inside of your business manager is private and no one would be able to see that. So unlike a Facebook page, if you change business information, everyone would see it, it'd probably make a post if you chose that option. Whereas in business manager, everything is kept private. This is really like a door that's locked. No one can see it unless you actually get added to it. So as a little recap, your business manager is the house that houses all of your business assets, like your Facebook pixel, your Facebook page, Instagram page, all of these other assets are rooms inside of the house and are all connected to the business manager because business manager manages your entire business. If you have Facebook business suite, you can switch over your view to business manager by pressing the give feedback button and always make sure that you are running your ads or your inside of your business account and not running ads from your personal account. So I really hope that this video simplified. I really tried to answer all the questions that people had leaving in YouTube comments and asking in our Facebook group. So if there was any question that you had that didn't get answered, drop your question in the comments below. We'll get back to you. And if you have a more complex question that might need screenshots or videos to explain, I would definitely suggest that you join our Facebook group so that you can actually ask that and we can reply it uh, properly. So I'll also leave the link to that in the description below. Before you head out of this video, please do hit that subscribe button, like it, like this video if it actually helped you out so that more people can actually get help with this issue because I know it's so common and share this with any of your friends who might have issues with business manager versus ads manager or setting it all up. So I hope this helped you out and we will see you in the next video.